Hello? Check. Check. Hello, can you hear me over there? Can you hear me okay? Yeah, we're good to go. We're getting a green light. Green light, okay. Good afternoon and welcome to Capital City Facebook News. I'm Testicula. And I'm Ginger Snaps. Today we're at the Juno Community Concern Arena in beautiful Southeast Alaska. That's right, Chenzo. We have many awesome Facebook warriors ready for battle today. Today the gloves are off and the feelings are irrelevant. Let's take a look at some of our housewife hacklers at this week's Facebook frenzy. One of our all-time contenders, Mackenzie Harvey, will be fighting for top comment. Today she proves a sharp tongue to protect the JCC member. I have the privilege of attending a sociology class with the Mac Attack. You do not want to go head to head with this mama bear. Another top contender on the docket, Juliana the Bull Matisse. You know what they say, Ginger, you mess with the bull, you're, you're gonna, gonna get, get the, the horns. horns. That's right, you're gonna get the horns. Absolutely frightening. We'll be anticipating participation from other big JCC members such as Samantha Smackdown Adams, Mickey B. And an odd team up with Juliana from Kara Oldman, the sweet but salty mother of many. Well, the fight kicks off as soon as Samantha Altman posts her link. Yes, she has chosen a link to anti-bullying public service announcement. That's right, a seemingly solid choice, Testicular. But this is JCC where anything can be construed as offensive. Well, this first one out of the gate, she's always ready to fight every single time. Yeah, well, let's see how quick it takes someone to respond to her LOL. Oh, it's Mackenzie Harvey. I would not have guessed anyone else saying, why can she not just shut up? Well, Juliana definitely thinks it's classy. I don't know about all that. That's right, with an immediate four likes. Four likes, just like that. Oh, and here we have Eric Wagonis. He's usually a late contender. He's coming out early here. Tagging Juliana Matisse. You're such a hater. You're such a hater. Ouch, that hurts. That hurts. Well, let's see what she had to say about that. Careful, or she would admonish you for. Yeah, big words, big words, a little bit out of my vocabulary, but I can I can understand that LOL. She's going back with the same tactic she used in that first comment. Yeah, I mean, it's always a good fallback, you know, stick with what you know. Stick I don't with blame what her. you know, that's right. One big problem we have with JCC is people do not stick with what they know, but that's the beauty of Facebook. So in this next post, she's going to bring the kids into it. I don't know if that's such a good idea. Thoughts, Ginger? Yeah, it's a very well-articulated post, you know, grammatically correct. And she has a lot of intellectual argument in this. Now, in my experience, there is no place for this on JCC. Not at all. You keep your artic to yourself. This is about slander, and this is about hurting feelings. Okay. Well, let's see where we go from there. Looks like they're doing a lot more explaining than they are punching. Yeah, here we have Krista. She's trying to back up for Juliana here. She's trying to say it might have been a mistake post. I do a lot of mistake posts, especially from my iPhone. You know, I can't tell you how many nitpicks I have out there because I just click on the wrong group. Here we have Letha Bethel calling for Mackenzie Harvey for president. Now, I want to remind everyone that Dan is the president of JCC. Now, that's, he's the judge, the jury, and the executioner. So, he, Mackenzie cannot be president, but she can be a crowd favorite. Okay, well, you know. Know your place. That's all I got to say about that. Know your place. That's right. Oh, and here we have Mackenzie Harvey. She's doing the first big call out. Making it personal. What does this say? This says this mama bear's real pissed off. That's right. That's right. She's calling out Juliana Matisse like that. She's bringing the kids into it. She's bringing her livelihood into it. Let's see what Juliana has to say. Samantha Adams is going to come into the mix again. You know, put a... Put a two cents in, you know, right, left, jab, whatever. You know, that's, uh, that, those are big ideas that I have no idea what they're talking about. Yeah, who cares, Samantha? Shut up. I think it was a little bit of a low blow uh, to bring Big Bird here into the mix. I mean, what did he ever do to you, honestly? That, that, that's right. He, he's a childhood character. He's one of my favorites from when, I was a, from when I was a child. He's a big yellow bird. Leave him out of it. He didn't do nothing to you. Pick on someone your own for. I mean, well, in general, you know? Alaska, for God's sake, pick an eagle, pick a raven, pick a ptarmigan. I don't care. Yeah, exactly. Know your place. 
Oh, and here we have Juliana. She's calling her out right away, saying it made absolutely no sense. I'm with Juliana on this one. It made absolutely no sense. Leave Bigfoot out of it. Leave Bigfoot out of it, God damn it. God damn it. Yeah, if your own mother is a bully, what kind of example are you giving to your kids? Keep it classy, keep it real, keep it on the adult side of things, and keep the kids out of it. That's, That's my right. opinion. That's right. You know, I, I know a couple of these mothers personally, and they do train their kids in jujitsu and different Muay Thai's. And, you know, when they get to school, kids start mouthing off about these JCC posts. They're going to end up with a broken neck. Yeah, yeah, no one wants to see that. Oh, it looks like Kara Altman did not like Mackenzie Harvey's post. She's calling in the semantics of timing. She's looking at her watch right now and saying, no, it is not too late for me to whoop some ass. Yeah, it's never too late to whoop ass. Uh, and uh, by the way, I love this picture. That's right, our first meme of the entire competition right here is anti-bullying, bullying bullies. Yes, it is. And here, we have our first honey right here. Kara Altman dropping the honey bomb on Mackenzie. Of course, this is not a real honey. She's talking about the very, very passive-aggressive honey. Yeah, yeah, that, uh, that's right, uh, that ginger. She's nobody's honey. That, uh, that's for sure. That's true. That was uh, sarcasm at its best. That's right. Mackenzie stabs right at her, just as we were saying, saying, try harder, Kara Altman. You do need to try harder, Kara. So, uh, did Mackenzie kill uh, Courtney's horse, or what? Okay. Uh, yeah, so apparently we have a poor dead horse on the field somewhere, from what I understand. You know, we're going to look further into this, but as far as I uh, am aware, this is against JCC regulation of the abusing horses. Yeah, we, uh, we do not endorse animal cruelty. That's right, that's right. Just uh, feelings have been hurt, but we have not killed any horses at this point. We'll uh, get back with Courtney Melton after the uh, halftime and figure out what she's doing. Yeah, who, who, who's horse? Where? Where is he? What, what's his name? Look, I don't get it. Oh, and here we have Juliana. She's calling for Dan. She's throwing in the towel. She's asking Dan to delete this one. Juliana, the one who made the original comment, the LOL. She's calling for Dan at this point. Where's Dan? Where's, uh, where's this regulator? This, uh, this hammer? Where is he? Where'd he go? I don't see him. Do you? That's important. It's important to have uh, wrong moms and uh, nutritional gamut. That's right, that's right. And, you know, it would also be good to see a screenshot. I, you know, I, it's important to know how far did she get on Candy Crush. You know, as an analyst, you've got to be able to look at these things and say, she went this far on Candy Crush, how far can she go on Facebook? You know, I think that's a really good parallel to draw because you never really know unless you get the big picture. Yeah, oh, and here we have Mickey once again calling for that screenshot. He wants a screenshot of the, uh, the threatening gesture. You know, already turned it over to JPD. She uh, printed off the phone or, uh, you know, like sent it through the cloud, the, 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 the sky cloud. cloud. Yeah, I've heard of that. So it's, she no longer has that screenshot, uh, Mickey, but, you know, you know keep keep asking. Here we have Letha Bethel asking where the page is at. Can someone please send her the link? We're hoping one of her teammates or one of her allies can send her the link to this page so she can continue commenting. And well, Jesus, here we have some horse stuff coming at us again. They're bringing the dead, beaten horse back onto the field. Someone's going to jump off of it. Yeah, well, we're praying for the horse. And apparently the horse is high. The horse has gotten high at some point during this. We don't know if it's for medicinal reasons or recreational. But, uh, you know, as our different changes in Alaska have happened, we can't really judge the horse. Yeah, LSD and bongos. LSD, bongos, and uh, high horses. She's also commenting on uh, Juliana's ability to uh, triple ladies, and uh, apparently she was witness. Yeah, so, so we, uh, we have several sources saying that she does trip old ladies in the mud. Now we can call this a team up on Juliana that is false, or uh, for, once again, they can post pictures to say that this does happen, because that's ultimately what's going to come down to when Dan, the official, looks at this. And here we have it! Here we have it! Straight off the bat, the evidence! We have an old lady being tripped on camera, provided by Patrick Matisse. Now, we can only assume Patrick Matisse has some sort of relation with Juliana here. And here he is again! Here he is! 
an actual live photo. Now apparently Juliana has tripped this lady through Facebook powers off of the steps. Off of the steps, she's flying with coffee or papers or something, flying into the, into the air. This is absolutely incredible. This is uh, unprecedented. Look at the horror on this woman's face. That's right. She is obviously scared. She doesn't know what's going on. And Juliana somehow uh, magically got herself out of that picture. That's right. So this is not only going to cause physical harm, but emotional and mental. This woman, uh, obviously, is going to be feeling the effects of this uh, assault for a yes. very long time. Unfortunately, we, we are all present with her. Oh, and here's Dan. Dan, up from his nap. Dan he woke is up. Woke up, and this is what Dan has to say. Wow, very heartfelt note. Very heartfelt note from Dan. Oh, shit. We have more big words from Dan. Dan has consistently been a big word user. And we've always held true to that. But, uh, you know, coming this late in the game, we don't know if those big words will be enough to stop this, this title. Well, and what I get from all this is Dan is pissed. He is pissed, and he does not take this lion down anymore. Now he's right. up, he's up, he's got his gloves on, he's ready to fight, he takes this personally, and he doesn't want people defacing his page. He wants you to keep it respectful, keep it classy, and uh, none of this uh, shenanigans that have been going on for the last two hours. That's right, now, now at this point, we're Dan in the game. We're pretty much waiting on the first person to like his comment. That big ass kiss right there will gain them a big lead in this game. And here we go. Mackenzie Harvey, first like on Dan's comment, his heartfelt comment. Congratulations to Mackenzie. We can't call it a win at this point, but that gives Dan a tremendous lead.